Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. We do have a voiceover gameplay uh, video for you right now just because I am actually preparing uh, the set and everything for the podcast tonight featuring Capt Bergeson. Um, Daniel, you guys will probably recognize him once the show begins. Uh, but what we need to talk about right now is a new patent that was discovered that was filed back in January by Nintendo. This patent features a brand new, never seen controller from Nintendo. Uh, and the fact that it was filed recently makes you think it could be something that comes out this year, next year, etc. And we're going to discuss what this controller could be for, why it even exists in a moment. Before we do, I will remind you we are giving away a Nintendo Switch OLED, a PlayStation 5, or an Xbox Series X to one lucky winner. To enter into that giveaway, all you have to do is head down to the gleam.io link down in the pinned comment or the description now look this patent is weird here it is at least one look at it and for, at first glance you go what the hell is this thing it kind of looks like an n64 missing the middle prong so you don't have a control stick otherwise what do we got a couple shoulder buttons a d-pad and four face buttons what, what what the hell is even the point of this and why is there that giant bulge is this like attached to something is this allowing memory cards what is this weird thing well as you dig further and further into a patent and i actually just got done recently reading the entire patent uh which can ha has so much jargon in it that pretty much means nothing uh at least not anything that we care about it, it probably means something from a legal perspective uh but as, as we go through uh, an image here um i, I want to show you a particular image that is quite interesting so uh this is one here where you see this thing in pieces now this these are the internals of the system here you see uh it's obviously going to be the board uh with the shoulder buttons and uh that thing at the very bottom or yeah is actually a battery but what you're also going to see here is this round circular thing at the top and upon reading the patent this is that giant thing that's in that bulge on the back of the controller that bulge is a rumble motor that's it that's all it is they put a bulge in there to include a rumble motor now we all have haptic feedback and different um you know buzzing features on our phones and other devices so you don't really need something this thick i mean this is this looks like it's thicker than a joy con which has hd rumble and multiple rumble motors so it, it's very weird that they have one that's this large now this it may or may not be traditional rumble it doesn't show the wedge you usually see on traditional rumble so this could be a brand new rumble technology nintendo's messing around with and that's why it's so large uh which also could lead you to believe this might be a controller that never sees the light of day they just patented it because they had it actually you know made up at a factory and they just want to check it out and test it and come up with uh, their own use cases but um yeah, so obviously it, it, that's kind of the big feature that's hard to miss uh, with this patent. Now, as we go to this next image, uh, one thing you'll notice in this image is a little recessed area. That's actually where the battery goes. And based on what I understand reading this patent, the battery is actually easily removable. Now, it seems to be intentionally easy, easily removable. And they decided to compensate and allow there to be space for the battery to expand and contract. In fact, they have an entire section about how this is specifically designed for the battery to expand and contract. Now, I don't think this is some brand new battery technology. I think batteries, you know, lithium batteries do expand and contract, although the bigger expansions that they're allowing tolerances for here usually means you should replace your battery. So I find that to be interesting, but it does look like it's pretty easy to replace the battery. Um, it literally slides in and out. So I, I don't think there's going to be any concerns of batteries with this, assuming that this thing ever releases. Um, so th there isn't a whole lot else here uh, to go into. It's, it's mostly a hollow shell. There doesn't appear to be things like Amiibo support or anything like that. And uh, here's a look at what, what would be the back side of the controller with the buttons and the D-pad. Um, and yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty much, you know, besides that rumble motor and the buttons and the D-pad, it, it, it's a pretty hollow shell. So here you'll see, a, a, you know, showing how the battery can be easily inserted and um, taken out. And, and it's just, you know, not that difficult of a process. Now, what could this controller actually be for? That's the question people want to know. Why would this thing exist? It basically looks like a, you know, Super Nintendo controller, you know, that's maybe a bit more beefy with a rumble motor. 
right? That I mean, that's the, the vibe I get anyways. Here's your Super Nintendo controller. You got your two shoulder buttons. You got your D-pad. You got your four face buttons. And now you just added this giant bulge for rumble, which seems a little unnecessary. But yeah, I, you know, by the way, it does mention there's potentially Bluetooth technology, although um, they don't have any of it pictured. So it is going to be wireless. Now, what, what I find interesting about this is why this might exist. So we already have um, controllers, additional controllers beyond Joy-Cons, and Pro Controllers made by Nintendo for the Nintendo Switch. These controllers are obviously for their Nintendo Switch online service. There's N64 versions, there's NES versions, and there is SNES versions, uh, or Famicom versions, whichever ones you want to call them. Uh, these are basically replica controllers of what the controllers were like back in the day, but wireless. And that's cool. But what we don't have is potentially what's next. There has been rumors for a while that Game Boy Advance, Game Boy, etc., cetera, uh, would be coming to the Nintendo Switch online service at some point. And this is a rumor that goes back to last year. And just because the N64 and Genesis uh, was announced first, the rumor still persisted past that. And obviously we haven't heard a lot you know, from there, outside of the same people that said it was coming, repeatedly, you know, talking about it on podcasts and other things, where they mentioned, yeah, this is still a thing, it's still happening, Nintendo's just biding their time till it's the right time to drop the Game Boy stuff. And I look at this and I go, this might be their answer to having a universal controller for their handhelds. Because, sure, you're not going to have the slider pad like on DS and 3DS, and by the way, nobody said DS and 3DS games are coming, but everything, you know, from, from, from the Game Boy, Game Boy Pocket, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, all of those only need a D-pad, and then at maximum, four buttons. This controller could be literally the Game Boy-esque controller. Uh, what we have to remember is that there is no standalone controllers officially from Nintendo for these platforms. So you're not just going to get some little cramped together controller that looks like a Game Boy to play. Uh, you're going to get something that, you know, looks at least like this. I, why there's rumble, I, I find that to be really interesting. The addition of a rumble control, that's the, almost the one red flag because obviously Game Boy, Game Boy Color didn't have rumble. I don't remember Game Boy Advance having rumble. Maybe I'm wrong on that front and that could be why. Maybe Game Boy Advance had Rumble, but I, I had an Advance, and my dad had a Game Boy Advance SP, and I don't actually remember Rumble ever being a feature of those handhelds. Um, so it does suggest that maybe they're considering use cases like certain N64 games being able to use that use the D-pad, um, being able to use this as compatibility with those N64 games and having Rumble. Uh, so that could very well be uh, what it's for to make the controller a bit more versatile. Uh, also, maybe they're thinking that people might want to use this controller with indie games, and indie games would still like to use Rumble because a lot of indie games are great with the D-pad. So I could see there being a, a few use cases where Nintendo might go, you know what, yeah, we might not need it for our games, but to make the controller a bit more user-friendly, a bit more functional, let's throw Rumble in. Now, why it's one massive Rumble in the middle with a bulge, I have no idea. I don't know whose design idea that is, and this is just one patent. Remember, this might never come out, okay? Nintendo files patents all the time, and even sometimes unveils products that never come out. Pokemon Company did it with Pokemon Sleep. Still waiting on that. Nintendo did it with the Wii Vitality Sensor, showed it off at E3, on stage, heart rate monitor, all this stuff. Never came out. So, yeah, there's a lot of these patents and products that get made that don't come out. And this could be one of those very products. But if Game Boy or whatever gets announced for Nintendo Switch Online later this year and they announce a controller and it happens to look similar to this, well, this is where you probably first heard about it uh, because this is just a really interesting thing. It doesn't look like it has motion controls um, as far as I'm aware from just reading. I know you might see some of the arrows and go, oh, is that motion? From what I'm able to tell, it doesn't have motion controls. Maybe, maybe there is some motion in it. I have no idea, but it, it, I didn't really get that out of the patent material from the description, the claims, and the drawings. So you guys let me know what you think about this. Is this something that you find just completely strange? Is this something that you think is really highly interesting? Are you curious why Nintendo's making this when the SNES controller serves every functionality save the rumble? Um, yeah, let me know down. In the, is this something you'd even want to use? It's just such a weird, weird design. Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Rumpeljance from Nintendo Prime. I want to thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.